Hello friends, welcome back to lmsdaily.com. In today's video, we will show you about a new tool for teachers, which is named as Diffit. Diffit is one of the very good AI based tools, which I really like while testing this tool. And I will just show you how you can use this Diffit tool for your online classrooms. So let us see how you can start with this Diffit tool. So to get started with this Diffit tool, you need to access the website URL, which is mentioned on the screen now, or you can access diffit.me in your browser. And once you are there on the home page, all you need to do is just click on this teachers start here button here. And as you can see, now you have three options to enter your text. You can either search for a topic here in the first tab, which is named as literally anything. And then in the second step, you can choose the approximate reading level and the language for the output. So it will update the uh, context of the output based on the grade which you select here so it has the grades from second grade until this 11th grade you can also paste in an article from a url directly just you need to copy the url and paste it here and then again select the uh, grade level here in the third tab you can also paste your own text here or you can also upload a PDF file directly here. So this gives you uh, unlimited options to input your own piece of text through any means. And once you upload your text here, you all you need to do is just click on this generate resource button. So I will just try with this literally anything tab here. And I will just put a search for future of education as the topic and i would like to choose this for let me say that i would like for eighth grade and then i will click on this generate resources button here so as you can see it will take some seconds to process the output and now we have this output ready on our screen so as you can see that in order to get access to the full content, you need to log in uh, by using your own Gmail account or the Google account. So I will first log in as my Google account and then I will show you the exact output which has come up here. So just give me a second. So as you can see now I am logged into my Google account and here is the complete output. So first of all this defeat tools gives you a lot of options in the context which you have input so now in the first screen you can see that we have a adapted reading passage here so you can use this passage here you can also use the summary of this passage by copying this thing or you can also have the key vocabulary words or you can have the multiple choice questions or you can have the short answer questions and in addition, you will also have the open ended prompts. The best thing after this one is you have the capability to generate more. <clears throat> Please excuse me. So you see that you have the options to generate more on top of everything like open ended prompts, short answer questions, multiple choice questions and key vocabulary words. So all you need to do is just click on this generate more to create more questions like or more topics like this. So let me say that how many do you need? I need two. So I will click on generate. So after this five, it will have two more words here. So as you can see now, there are seven words here. So in a similar way, you can also create any number of words by using this thing, or you can also create any number of questions by using this defeat tool. In addition, they have a pretty good capability to convert this passage into any other language. So as of now, if you see that on the top, we have this English language. But let me say that I would like to convert it into a Spanish language text. So I will just click on this Spanish button and click on this regenerate button here. Again, it will take some time to convert the output into Spanish language and give us the output. So now we have this output in the Spanish language and this can be easily used as 
a background lesson tool so that the students can go through these things and come better prepared in the classroom for a discussion so that you can have a better interaction with your students in the class now you have the options to print this elements like you can choose everything whatever you would like to have a print or you can just fine tune it to select whatever you need similarly you can also open these with the google docs directly so you have a fine integration with the google docs and you can just select whichever elements you need to open in the google docs similarly you can also share uh, sorry the share option is still not yet available but it will be there in the future as mentioned here on the website so this is how you can use this diffit tool for your classroom i really like this tool and i feel that it can be a great help for the modern educators to use in the modern classroom please let me know how you are going to use this diffit tool for your classroom if you like this tool please drop a comment in the comment section below or if you don't like it please let us know why you don't like this tool and thank you very much for watching this video if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon it will really help me to create more engaging videos for you in the near future thank you very much for watching have a great day